All right, hey collective. Um, I came off camera to come give you guys a general spread for today. Remember you guys, the spread that I pulled here today, this is a timeless spread, all right? So for some of you guys, um, some of my messages, they may or may not resonate today for you. If this me message <laughs> does not resonate today, for some of you guys, you can come back and check this video out later on down the line in the future. And some of my messages that I have here today, they could resonate later for some of you, all right? So I need for you to only accept the message that comes for you. If it's not for you, leave it for the next person. Also, you guys, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so we can grow the energy over here for you guys, all right? Also, if you would like to donate to my channel, my information is in the description box below, all right? And I appreciate you guys so much for the love and the constant support that you guys show me, all right? I love y'all so much, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna jump into these messages. We're gonna see what it is that Spirit is needing for some of you guys to be aware of as of today, all right? So the first card that flaw is we have healing childhood issues, all right? We have ancestors are so proud of you. All right. And look, we have healing your family lineage. So for some of you guys, I feel like whoever you are, you heal some form of childhood issue. All right. Whatever this is that you healed. OK, from your childhood, you heal something regarding your family bloodline. OK, just know, collective, that your ancestors are so proud of you for doing this. OK, because I feel like whoever you are, I feel like you could have had like a um, bloodline. OK, of ancestors who went through the same thing that you went through, but I feel like they never took the time to heal, all right? So something about you, you took the time, <clears throat> you sat down, you did a whole bunch of shadow work, and you healed something from your bloodline. This is why your ancestors are so proud of you, okay? Something about you free something from their bloodline, all right? Um, we have the cycle ending card that flew out here. And look, we have moving out of poverty mindset. So whatever it is that you healed about yourself collective, it ended out a cycle, OK, for some of you guys, you're definitely about to move out of some form of uh, poverty mindset. OK, this is I feel like your ancestors gift to you for doing the hard work. OK, because for some of you guys, you went through something as a child. OK, all right. I feel like for some of you guys, <clears throat> you dealt with a lot. OK, whatever this was that you went through. OK. Um, for some of you guys, like I said, you sat down, you did the healing, okay? Because healing is hard, all right? You did the healing, you did the shadow work, you did your inner child issue, uh, issues that you have, you healed that, okay? Um, and I feel like this is why your ancestors are so proud of you because you did something that I feel like your bloodline could not do, okay? So I feel like your ancestors are definitely about to bless you okay, or gift you with something, okay, whatever it is, you're about to move out of some form of poverty mindset, for some of you guys, this is what you did, okay, to heal something, all right, take it how it resonates, um, but look, we have the karmic cycle ending, all right, we have the no weapon form shall prosper, all right, some form of karmic cycle is ended, we have the no weapon form shall prosper, and we have, look, dark energy, we have older air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And look, we have block. For some of you guys, I feel like um, you have an older air sign, okay, that has been trying to come in between you healing. Three, three, three on the clock. Whoever this older air sign is when I'm picking up, this person was terrified of you healing something from your childhood, all right? I'm picking up for some of you guys, this could be a mother, okay, or a male in your family, all right, a masculine in your family, okay? Whoever this is, though, this is an older air sign. This is a dark energy, okay? And I feel like this person has been trying to block you on your pathway, okay? But we have the no weapon form shall prosper, okay? Whatever it is that this um, older air sign, this dark energy is trying to do, your ancestors are about to block this person out. Something about you are protected, okay? So no need to worry about whoever this older air sign is, all right, I'm picking up for some of you guys. You already know who this person is, okay? Your ancestors are blocking out this person. Something about you knowing that you are protected, okay? I feel like whoever this older air sign is, this person has done the most to stop you from healing, okay? And when I say the most, the most, okay? Um, we have you are protected. We have fire sign Aries, Leo, Sag, all right? And then we have Aries. So you could be a um, fire sign, specifically an Aries, that has been going through something with an older air sign trying to block you, okay? Um, but look, we have it's over. We have creating blockages. We have, look, the illusion card. 
and look, we have black magic. So whoever this older air sign was, I feel like this person was trying to block you from healing. Okay, something about this person was using some form of dark, uh, black magic, dark magic, whatever, okay, to cause some form of illusion um, around you, around you healing. Okay, this person has been trying to block you, but it's over with. For some of you guys, all right, we have the low vibrational card that flew out after that. Something about this person was causing some form of illusions. This person wanted you to keep you in some form of low vibrational state, okay? So you weren't healing, okay? Um, and like I said, for some of you guys, whatever this person was doing, though, I feel like you definitely overcame something that this person was trying to do to block you, okay? Um, I feel like your ancestors is going to continue blocking out this person because for some of you guys, you still have some form of healing to do and this person is not going to be able to interfere with that, okay? Um, like I said, this person was trying to keep you low vibrational, okay? Something around you not healing, okay? I'm also picking up for some of you guys, this person wanted you to be stuck in some form of uh, connections where it was unrequited, okay? It's what I'm picking up. Some of you guys could have went through something real bad, okay, as a child. This older air sign knows it, okay? So I feel like this person wanted to keep you in some form of illusion around whatever it is that you've been through to keep you low vibrational, okay? Something about you guys practicing self-love, okay, is how you kept blocking out this person, okay? Um, we have low vibration. We have Sagittarius and we have Virgo out here. Okay. So this could have been a Sagittarius or a Virgo, or these could be your signs. All right. Um, but look, we have the hidden enemy and we have air sign again. So for some of you guys, whoever this is, this was a hidden enemy around you. Okay. This is someone who I feel like would keep their self hidden on trying to block you. Okay. All right. Somebody definitely was wearing a mask they were hiding behind the scenes okay all right whoever this air sign is all right um but look we have the coming into alignment 717 on the clock you're on the right path okay some of you guys are about to come into alignment to some form of manifestation okay something about you guys focusing on yourself for now all right and look we have help we have the six string crystal which helps release negativity all right Something about you guys focusing on releasing any negative energy, okay? Any negative mindset, any low vibrational energy, okay? Because I feel like for some of you guys, whoever this was has been putting a lot of negative thoughts around you, okay? A lot of illusions, all right? Something about you guys focus on yourself around releasing whatever negativity, all right? Something about you guys taking the first step. I feel like your ancestors are wanting you to take the first step. Release anything that's negative, okay? It, it could be anything. Release it, all right? Some of you guys can be somewhere where you are around an older air sign. For some of you guys, release it, okay? Because wherever it's at or whoever this person is, they're toxic, okay? Um, we got to take the first step. And then, look, we have the positive mindset. We have good changes ahead, all right? Something about you guys changing your mindset, okay? All right? Release any negative mindsets that you have, okay? Because for some of you guys, you have some good changes ahead, okay? Think positive because I'm here for some of you guys. Whatever your, your thoughts are, you manifest it. And this person wanted you to manifest a whole bunch of low vibrational energy. No, okay? Start keeping your mindset positive, okay? Have your thoughts positive because you're manifesting right now, okay? I feel like this person knew this also, all right? You got some good changes ahead. We have the angel number 222 for a new beginning, okay? Look, we have divine timing is at play, okay? Something about you guys got some good changes coming in, all right? Divine timing is at play right now for something that's about to take off for you, okay? This low vibrational, dark, energy can no longer block you. Your ancestors got this person, okay? Something about you guys need not to worry. Start focusing on yourself, okay? All right? Um, we also have some numbers and letters that flew out here. We have the number 13 that could be significant. We have the number 8. We have the number 5. All right? We have the number 9 that could be significant here. We have the letter F 
and we also have the letter C out here, all right? This F and C could be first, middle, last name, initials, all right? Um, these numbers can also be birthdays, okay? You can be born on the 13th, the 9th, the 8th, or the 5th, or someone involved in a situation could be, okay? All right? So just know for some of you guys, your ancestors are blocking off this dark energy, okay? Because like I said, someone has been 10, 10 on the clock is complete. Someone has been interfering with your healing, okay? Um, interfering with something that's coming in for you. This person knows that by you healing something from your childhood, it's going to move you um, out of some form of poverty mindset. This person knew it, okay? So they try to keep you in some form of um, negative mindset to keep you stuck so you're not receiving something is what I'm hearing, okay? So uh, we're going to pull from the Moonology deck, okay? Can you give me some clarifying messages for my collective? All right. It says, don't let pride get in your way. We have Leo out here. Okay. It says a win-win outcome is in the forecast. Okay. Something about also your ego. I feel like for some of you guys, for some of you guys, either this is you or someone around you, something about your ego. I feel like your ancestors are wanting you to let that go. Okay. Because for some of you guys, um, it's blocking out something. Now, this could be anything. It could be money. It could be a relationship that's trying to come in. But for some of you guys, whether this is you or someone around you, you're, the ego is what's stopping something. This new beginning could be a relationship, okay? But we also have a win-win forecast is in the system, okay? A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Full moon in Libra, okay? Um, and like I said, this it's justice coming out. Okay, because we got the scales here on this card. All right. Like I said, this could definitely be an air sign. So this could be a Libra. All right. But you're going to receive justice around whatever this person was doing. Okay. Um, you could be a Libra or we have Leo out here also. Or this could be a Leo or Libra involved. All right. Um, but just know, like I said, for some of you guys, something about ego or pride. Okay. All right. For some of you guys, something about pride. I'm picking up from this, this don't let pride get in the way. It's, it's a relationship that's stagnant because I feel like for some of you guys, you're holding on to some form of negative energy. This is what I'm getting from this card, okay? This could be a relationship waiting, okay? But whatever this is, the situation is, you're going to have a win-win outcome regarding this, okay? Something's about to be balanced out. We have the scales here. Something's about to be balanced for you, all right? So that's what I have for you, Collective. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. And I will speak with you guys in a minute. And I love y'all so much. Bye.